subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can install jupyter editor or jupyter notebook on your windows pc in a step-by-step -step process so let's begin the video so here i have my windows pc before i begin the tutorial there are some things that you need to have first of all you need to make sure that you have python installed on your windows pc i'm going to show you if you don't have python installed the second thing is anaconda which uh, is actually going to be used to install jupyter notebook on your windows pc and last but not least you need to have an active internet connection to download these free softwares anyways let's move towards our windows pc so here i am on my windows pc so first of all let's check whether we have python installed on this pc or not because this is my laptop so in order to check if python installed or not on the windows search you're going to type cmd and you're going to open the command prompt here you can just type py and you can also type python as well so you can type any of these queries and if it shows some kind of version of python then it means that you have python installed but if it isn't showing any version then it means that python is not installed on your windows pc so in my case you can see that it's opening the store which means that python is not installed in this windows pc so in order to install python first of all we need to download it so you're going to open any of your browsers So we're going to open Python's website to download Python. I will put all the downloads websites link in this video description just below the like button. Anyways, for uh, when you're going to open the link from the video description here, you're going to have the Python website to download. So you can see the latest version is 3.10.0 and you can download older versions as well if you go down. But we're just going to download the latest version. I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. The second uh, website that you need to go is on the Anaconda's website. Again, this is going to be also used in order to install Jupyter Notebook. So here it's going to show Anaconda individual, ed individual edition for Windows. You're going to have this Windows icon so you can just download it. And it's a 64-bit installer which is around 510 MB. So And its requirement is that you need to have minimum Python 3.9 or above so we're going to download python 3.10 so it's going to satisfy anaconda's requirements and you're just going to press on the download button to download anaconda as well so i have downloaded both the softwares i'm just going to go and open my downloads folder first of all here we have python so we're just simply going to right click on it and run it as an administrator so here we got the python install install python 3.10 so you can install now or you can customize installation path so we're going to first of all click on add python 3.10 to path we're going to check box this as well we're going to press on customize installation so here we have documentations make sure that everything is checked installing for all users make sure that this is checked as well we're going to press on next so here it's going to show install for all users we're going to press on the uh, check mark to make sure that all users can access it and uh, you can customize the installation location as well for this you can see the install location is c program files python 310 which is okay we are going to press on install we are going to press on yes and now it's going to install python on our windows pc or laptop so we're just going to wait until the installation is completed so you can see that the setup is successful here we have an option saying disable path length limit so we're going to press on it and we're going to press on yes so from here python is successfully installed we're going to press on close and we're going to check whether python is actually installed on this pc or not so again we're going to open cmd by typing cmd on the windows search here we're going to type py again and we're going to search for it and you can see python 3.10.0 has been installed so basically it's showing python version which means that python has been installed on this windows pc now we can install anaconda and then after that jupyter notebook as well so here is the setup for anaconda i'm going to right click on it sorry right click on it and run it as an administrator here we go please wait while setup okay here we got the anaconda installation wizard we're going to press on next you're going to just read the license and agree it 
so we're going to make sure that anaconda installed for all users so we don't have any privileges problem in the future we're going to press on next installation location you can change it if you want but i don't recommend changing these software's default location next again okay register anaconda 3 as the system python 3 point etc etc add anaconda 3 to the path environment variable we're going to check mark this as well we're going to press on install and now it's going to install anaconda on our windows pc so in the installation of anaconda has been complete we're just going to press on next next okay we're just going to uncheck this and the tutorial as well we don't want to see the tutorial right now and we're going to press on finish so we're going to type anaconda on our search we're going to have anaconda prompt and anaconda navigator make sure that you open anaconda navigator first so the anaconda navigator is opening up so for the first time it may take a little time because it's going to set up for the first time so anaconda has been opened up so we're going to have an update application if you want to update anaconda you can do so to the latest version but i'm not going to do it for now so i'm going to press on no remind me later and here you can see we have jupyter notebook on the lower left side so here we got our jupyter notebook so you can uh, launch jupyter notebook in two ways first of all you can open anaconda and press on launch button here and the more shorter way is uh, pretty simple i'm just going to press on quit yes uh, the other way is to uh, just type anaconda on the windows search again here you're going to have the anaconda prompt just open the anaconda prompt and write jupyter notebook once you write it just press enter and in this way you can open jupyter notebook as well using anaconda so for the first time it's going to take some time and it's going to ask on which browser you want to open jupyter notebook as jupyter notebook is web based if you don't know so i'm just going to select my uh, this browser which i use a lot i'm going to press on always this app to open dot html files and i'm going to press on ok so now it's going to open the browser where it's going to open jupyter notebook so the address is localhost etc etc so once you open jupyter notebook or once you install anaconda if you want to open jupyter notebook offline then you can do so internet is not required in this case because it is on your windows pc and it is working locally not globally anyways you can just go and open any folder and you can make any new file like i have opened desktop and i'm just going to make a new python 3 file which means that it's going to be a python file so that's the reason why you need to have python installed on your windows pc because jupyter notebook is going to need that python library so we're just going to type print hello world and in order to run code on your jupyter notebook it's pretty simple all you need to do is to press on this red run button and you can see we got our output hello world which means jupyter notebook is working correctly with python that we installed on our pc so guys this is the easiest way that you can install jupyter notebook i know this ain't the most easiest way but it is the most detailed and step by step guide that i could tell you in order to install jupyter notebook on your windows pc i have searched a lot of videos and i had a lot of problem when i was installing jupyter notebook so i tried to tell you everything that i could in a step by step manner so you can install jupyter notebook on your windows pc without any problem anyways guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up if you have any kind of questions regarding this video write them in the comment section below again all the download links of these softwares will be in the video description as well just below the like button anyways guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so that will support me a lot thank you for watching and stay safe